Hi, Amazing Kids family. This is Miss Ashley, and this is going to be your therapist tip of the day. All right, today we're going to talk about a really simple but effective tool to help kiddos increase their fine motor strength. So their hand strength, the little intrinsic muscles of the hand that kind of really are important when facilitating handwriting and fine motor skills. That tool would be Play-Doh. Love, love, love Play-Doh. Play-Doh is an OT staple around the world. So many different things you can do with Play-Doh. You can flatten it, okay, with one or both hands. You can pinch it, okay? You can poke it, great for finger isolation. You can roll a ball between your hands. You can make a small balls just with your fingertips like this, okay? You can hide objects in there and have to pull them out with just using a pincer grasp. You can make shapes like circles, triangles, crosses. Great when you're working on forming shapes and starting learning how to make your shapes. You can roll it into a snake. You can also slice it. Okay, you can take a little plastic knife, work on slicing it. All right, you can also cut it. Great for introducing scissor skills before you're working on the paper. Okay, so you can cut it, another good one. Um, Play-Doh is good for so many different reasons. It facilitates bilateral coordination skills. Okay, so using both sides of the body, both hands. Facilitates a tripod grasp, three fingers. It facilitates development of the precision part of the hand, which is the thumb, index finger, and middle finger. This would be the power side of the hand. All right, and it facilitates arch development of the palm, which is also very important. So Play-Doh is an awesome, awesome tool. Go ahead and if you guys are thinking of needing some activities for fine motor strengthening, if you've got some Play-Doh, you've got a great tool, okay? Uh, this is, again, Miss Ashley with your therapist tip of the day. I hope it was helpful. You guys stay well and stay safe. Bye.